Okay, let's have a look at the question. Yes, yeah, so what are the values of x and y in 7p2x 23y, 72x 23y, if it is perfectly divisible by 88? So how can I check this divisibility of 88? As I've already told, if the numbers are not prime, uh, yes, uh, Google has got 7 and 2. Yes, we'll check it out, Google. Yes, now look here. If I'm talking about the perfect divisibility uh, of a composite number, then we have to look for co-prime numbers. Yes, what are the co-prime numbers of 8? Again, it's 8 is nothing but 8, 11 times is 88, where we don't have any factors between, uh, common factors between 8 and 11. Okay, 8 and 11. Yes, now what I'm going to do is, look here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'll be checking for the divisibility of 8 and divisibility of 11. Yes, first I'll go out with the divisibility of 8 here. 230, 230 plus something should be divisible by 8. Now, what are the possibilities of y here? In this question, they have given 5 as well as 2. Will 5 be divisible by uh, 8? No, 5 is the odd number. I can directly eliminate those two options. Y value is 2. We have got it because we have got only one thing. Y value is 2, right? Now, the answer is either this one or that one. Now, the other substitution is taking out x value. You can take out x as 3. If not, it will be 7. Yes, I'll take out 7, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. Check out whether it's divisible by 11. This, this, and this. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. Minus 2 plus 2 plus 2. It is 6. 13 minus 6 gives 7. No, this number is not divisible by 11. So this is not the answer. So only one option, that is the option D, or we can say that is the answer. Getting it? So this is where we can easily try to eliminate the answer options. Okay. Yes, if you want, you can check out with the last one. 7, 2, 7, 2, 3, 2. Yes, 7, 7, 14 plus 3 gives 17. Minus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 17 minus 6 gives 11. Yes, it is divisible by 11. So answer is option D. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching and uh, for more updates and similar videos, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.